Hello. This video is to show the proper way to gather a PD Collect output file as initial troubleshooting doc on Windows environments. With IBM Tivoli monitoring, it's often necessary to get a little basic information to begin troubleshooting an issue. And in order to do this, a utility is provided called PD Collect. On Windows, it's necessary to make sure to run the PD Collect utility from an administrative DOS prompt to make sure that all the information that is necessary is gathered in the output file for PD Collect. Also, some customers often have trouble finding the output file for PD Collect on Windows, and this video will explain to you where that is written out and how to get that file to upload to Tivoli Level 2 support. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure on Windows that you open up an administrative DOS prompt. So right click on command prompt and click run as administrator. You'll see in the DOS prompt that it says it's an administrative command prompt. This way, when you run the PD Collect utility, you're not going to get any message indicating that you're missing privileges and the, the files that are in the PD Collect output will contain data. One of the symptoms that you were not running the PD Collect utility is that the cinfo.info file may be zero bytes or it will have a message saying cannot obtain all necessary privileges. So from the administrative dust prompt, the first thing you'll want to do is run kinsinfo minus D. And this is just to get the output of what ITM components are installed. And you want to make sure that you see that the UE component is installed. The UE component is the Tivoli Enterprise Services User Interface Extensions. This component is necessary in order to support TAC commands. With the current levels of ITM, the way that you initiate the PD Collect utility is by running TAC command PD Collect. If you do not have the UE extensions installed, you will not be able to run TAC commands. The next thing you need to know is where does the PD Collect utility output its files when it's gathering the information? To tell this, run the set command and look at the temp value. This location is where the PD Collect utility will output its temporary files and once complete will also create the .jar file that you would upload to level 2 support review. And so let's go and make sure that that space has enough free space. So open Windows Explorer, make sure your C drive in this case since the temp location is on the C drive has free space and we see that there's two and a half gigabytes free and then we're going to go to the directory that the temp variable points to and you'll see that currently there is no PD Collect file. So going back to the administrator command prompt, we're going to type TAC command. Let me clear this off first. TAC command PD Collect. Now it can take 10, 15 minutes in order to gather all the information. It depends on the number of RAS1 log segments that have to be gathered, uh, the size of event logs, other information. So it can take a little bit of time for the, the PD Collect utility to run. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video until the 
PD Click Utility finishes gathering all of the temporary files and information. Once the PD Collect Utility is finished gathering the temporary files, you'll be prompted to type exit to have it packaged into a .jar file that can be transferred by FTP to ECU rep for the support team to review. Prior to zipping it into a .jar file, you can review the contents if you need to. And you will see under the temp directory, there is a PD Collect directory. This is browsable. You can go through and you can edit any files that you need to if you need to scrub any uh, secure private information out, uh, if you need to do so for security reasons. Once you have done whatever you need to do with the contents of the temporary directory, you will go back to the DOS prompt and you will type exit and hit enter. This will then package the contents of that temporary PD collect directory into a .jar file that can be transferred for level 2 support review. When it's complete, you will see a KUICPD008I message indicating that it was completed successfully. And you will see that the temporary directory has been cleaned up and there is a pdcollect dot jar file. This is the file that you will upload for the PMR for review. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video at the CNSI Monitoring Academy. We definitely appreciate your feedback, so please feel free to use the comments box below. We'd also love you to click the thumbs up if you appreciated the video. We have added several helpful links to all our content. I would definitely recommend you check out the blogs on DevWorks. Take care.